All right, y'all, today I am out here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. This weekend, all weekend, is the Charlotte Auto Fair. They're supposed to have some really cool cars. I know they'll have a ton of classics. What I'm specifically looking for is uh, Rick Hendrick, owner of Hendrick Motorsports and the one who owns Charlotte Motor Speedway. He's displaying his LaFerrari out here, so very excited to see that. I'm also inclined to believe there will be other exotics here, which I would be more than happy to find. And then I'm hoping we get some stock cars out here as well. Some NASCAR stock cars, any other kind of race car actually would be fantastic. So let me go buy my ticket and uh, I'll show you what we got. Here we are out at the uh, out on the track, which is fantastic, really cool. Imagine just 20 bucks. You can get in here, you can walk on Charlotte Motor Speedway, you can cross the start finish line, which is what I am doing now. There's the flag stand, there's the line. I win. So cool. A lot of cool cars out here. This uh, show, remind you, is uh, catered towards. Classics, domestics, and muscle. All things America. I'm sure there's some exotics in here somewhere I can find, but I'm gonna start with uh, just looking at all these cool vets. See which ones I can find in here. I'm not really here to take pictures like I usually do. I'm just here to enjoy the day. I might take some pictures. I did bring my camera with all a few of my lenses, but this is just kind of how I relax. It's my day off, I get to do what I want with it, and I would love to just look at some cars without the pressure of having to take pictures of them for a client, so. That's some real nice specs out here. The C8s, I gotta say, are growing on me, but these are still my favorite. Someday, my uh, dream car actually is a 1972 Corvette. The uh, Indy 500 pace car edition specifically. So we'll see if I can find one. Hopefully I can. I expect there probably will be one of those out here. I just gotta wade through the crowd and find it. Hi y'all, I wanted to show you this car a little bit. I was just talking to the owner. He doesn't want to be on camera, that's fine. But he was telling me about how they converted all the stitching from yellow to orange, the seat belts from yellow to orange for this. He really just likes golf and he really wanted to get this all specked out properly and I think he did a fantastic job. Even on the uh, hubcaps you can see, he said they painted the calipers. They got those hubcaps that uh, center caps that say golf even down here like little small things like that you know attention to detail is fantastic on this car it's got a lot of really cool details all over the place you can see these little Chevrolet badges he's got the sponsorship all over it really well done the seats are even embroidered with golf Very well done vehicle. <laughs> I 
And then he's got the uh, C8 license plate as well. It really looks quite good. I love how the bottom of this fin is a different color. That's good detail. But anyways, safe to say one of my favorite cars at the show so far. And uh, hopefully I'll have a whole lot more to show you coming up. So here we have some Buick Rietta. I've actually never heard of this car. Uh, from the looks of it, I would guess they came out in the 80s, maybe 90s. Probably 80s though. So I've never seen these. My father had a Buick when I was a kid. Not one of these though. I actually don't know really anything about this car. But there's 16 of them here, so they must have some sort of presence. Some sort of collectability, I would imagine. They're not super sporty, and they're not super luxury, but... I mean, that interior is fantastic, and I'm sure for the day, it was, it was quite a cool car. It's interesting how that dashboard is pushed back like that. Huh. Are they all like that? They are. It's interesting. I'm gonna have to do some research on these. If anyone in the in the videos watching this, you know anything about the Buick Rietta, drop a comment. Let me know what's up with them. But anyway, they look they look pretty nice all lined up like this. I'm gonna go check out that blue one. They got all sorts of cars out here. I'm sure you can hear in the background tires squealing. They're doing some donut competitions outside some formula drift kind of stuff. I'm sure I'll head out there eventually. But this blue is nice. What an interesting car. I'm, I'm gonna have to look this up. Maybe Doug DeMuro can help me out on this one. He's the guy I go to whenever I don't know what a car is. I just saw this and I checked a couple of the other cars and they all have it. It looks like it has a digital gauge cluster, which I was not expecting, which makes me think maybe this is more of a 90s car. But I don't know. I still know nothing about it, but... I thought that was cool to point out. It does have a tape player, but that doesn't mean anything. It could still be 80s car with a tape player, I think. But, yeah. Well, this is neat. Here we have three classic Opals. These are all the Opal GT. I can't recall if I've ever seen an Opal in person, a classic Opal. I'm gonna say I probably have, but didn't realize what it was. But, they're really cool. I'm sure they're quite rare. They're probably quite valuable at this point. But, that's pretty neat to see. Here we have a Polizei. This, I believe, is a German police car. And I believe it's German because Opel, Gut Affenstung, which I don't know exactly what it means. I mean, Opel, it's an Opel, but then Gut is good, and then I don't, I don't know what the other word is. But it is German, so I believe it's a German police car. So that's pretty cool. Likely not modern. Likely a classic German police car. But either way, that's pretty, that's pretty neat. I have for sure seen cars like this in various movies and TV shows from the 80s and 90s. Now that is a beautiful spec. Wow. I like that. All carbon fiber in there. 
really neat.